intersection Waiting in line for the light When a bearded young man In a beat up old van Turned and looked me in the eye Well the moment ignited a question And made me reflect on my life If the Lord came again To live among men what kind of car would he drive? You see, a luxury car is too pretentious. In yeah, SUVs eat too much gas. And all minivans and those compact sedans, well, they just can't go all that fast. So I pondered and came to an answer about which wheels would fit him just right. If the Lord came again to live among men, what kind of car would he drive? Well, he'd drive a pickup truck, carpenter tools in the back. He'd cruise around in that heaven on wheels, doing every kind of kindly act. Chopping wood for the widow next door, hauling goods for the hungry and poor. If you were stuck in a rut, he'd lift you up in his short bed step side half ton pickup truck. It's no limousine, but this machine is all he really needs. Yeah, he'd drive a pickup truck, carpenter tools in the back. Around in that heaven on wheels, doing every kind of kindly act, chopping wood for the widow next door, hauling goods for the hungry and poor. If you were stuck in a rut, he lived you up in his short bed step side, half ton pickup truck. I was listening to Glenn Beck on the radio and they were talking about this subject of what kind of car would Jesus drive. Um, and I started thinking about it and, and I teach at a university, I teach writing, and uh, I, as a creative exercise, I uh, you know, posed this question to the class and, um, you know, what kind of car would Jesus drive? And immediately this student just raised his hand and said this and it was like so obvious um, that I, I immediately took that idea and uh, and we got together with Jeff and started working on the song. And what's kind of funny about it is I kind of stole this idea from this, this student. And he actually graduated and he went into law school. And now he's a, a, an attorney in Nashville, of all places. And so um, he's not a copyright attorney, but I, every once in a while I remind him that you can't copyright ideas. So it's all fair game.